in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a particular CSS grid system named Bento Grid that is uh, directly inspired by Japanese bento boxes. So I've pulled up images of bento boxes. Now, there's something that stands out. These bento boxes are compartmentalized lunch boxes that are not only functional, as, as you can see, but um, they are also known for their aesthetic uh, appeal and organization. And this particular grid system um, facilitates um, organized structure in web layouts. That grid also helps to maintain a consistent layout throughout a website. And you also know that consistency in design enhances user experience by making navigation and interaction more predictable. So it's easier that way. This design has been implemented by GitHub, at some time Apple, and some other uh, websites out there. In my quest to practice using my knowledge um, of CSS Grid, I came across this particular template by Powell Gola. So I decided to just try out the layout, just the layout, how the grid came to be. And I ended up getting this. So I think it's close. Yeah, I came close, if not exactly it. So let's get into the video. I'll go ahead to link my CSS file. A div first. You can use a wrapper, container, or content. So I gave a class of wrapper. So under the div, under the wrapper class, I'll go ahead to make 11 more divs. As seen in the template, there are, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 grids. So I'll add a class for each of the 11 grids. So I'm having grid here, uh, 11. So to style, I'm starting with a background. So I'm giving a background uh, color of black. So that means our text that was black uh, needs to be uh, in a contrasting color so we could see. Uh, at least blue, blue. So our text align, I'll align all text to center I'll align all text to the center. You can change your phone family if you want, which is not ne really necessary for me. Because at the end, uh, anyways, just change the font. I prefer impact hit and trailer. And then I'll give a padding to the top because I want it to get down. The next uh, styling I want to give will be for the wrapper. So let's style the wrapper. I'll style the wrapper. So that begins with a dot control V. Then my curly brackets enter. So I'm going to display in grid. Of course, nothing is going. You won't see any effect. But let's go on. I'm giving a margin of zero to auto. Then max width. It's uh, how many? 960 pixels. Now, remember what we talked about in the last tutorial about grid template column? So, I want it to be repeated nine times um, in one fraction. Uh, so, you see what happened here? How they, they all spaced out. So, um, it's been repeated in nine times. Okay. So, I'll give the grid auto roll. Uh, grid auto roll. Given min max of um, 100 pixel and the auto, then I'll give a grid gap of 10 uh, pixel. So you see how they just spaced out, right? To style each of the content, 
but I'm doing it at once. So I'm going to say control V. Okay, my dot control V, then D, uh, then curly brackets, and I'm going to give a border. of three uh, pixel thick and i need it to be solid and you give it your desired color so if you choose <clears throat> to leave uh, leave the color as white that's not a problem but in my thumbnail i want to have green so i want a much lighter green color yeah then i'll give a border radius of 10 pixels okay, so we're done with that so the next thing we want to do is to create what we have here we have uh, grids in different sizes um, spanning to different columns and grids and all of that so that's what we want to achieve now I'm styling each of the grids individually so for that I'm starting with grid 1 so I'm copying that and I'll say dot control V uh oh what that do okay <laughs> so my curly brackets and I want to say grid column grid column uh, I want to say one two five see what happens so i'm simply saying grid i want my grid column to start from one from this point point one and span across one two three four and get to five so i'm saying i want my grid column to start from point one and end at point five you could also use there's you could use grid grid column start so there you say one and you say grid column end and you say five okay so let me get this off so you see the effect so it's the same as what i had earlier when i just used grid column one slash forward slash five so it's same as saying grid column i want you to start i want my grid column to start from point one and go over so point one two three four five okay so it's as simple as that so i prefer to use uh the previous one because this just takes up a lot of space because for my row if i wanted to span down i have to say if i wanted to move down i have to say uh grid row i have to say grid row start and i'll so i i i, I don't I, I prefer the other method over this one because for this one remember that i have to style 11 different grids so i have to spend time and in my course confusion um uh, at the end so I'd simply just go back to uh, to the previous method I I you saw first so grid column 1 slash 5 so it's saying move from 1 to 5 so I'll also come down and say grid row okay so if you wanted to start from point 1 and go over to point 2 to point 3 so you can also say one forward slash three. So it has occupied this whole space. If you want it to go um uh further, you can say one to five. So see what's happening. So you could I would, I urge you to experiment with it because um then you would know how you want yours to be or how to arrange your grids. For me, remember I'm going after this um design, like I want mine to be just how this is. So I'm going to leave my grid row empty. Yeah. And I'm I'll go over to the next change this to two, open my curly bracket, enter a grid column. I want so this is from point five. So I want the next grid to go over to uh to move from grid five, six up to seven. So five, six, seven. So that what I'm going to do. Guess what? I'm writing five slash seven. So you see what happened? We went back from five, six, and up till seven. 
Okay. So for my grid rule, for the second grid, the grid rule for the second grid, I actually wanted to span down. So what do I do? I'm saying from point one, go over to point three. So one, two, three. So it's going to get here. So how am I going to do that? So I'm saying one slash three. See what happened? So it's slowly getting there. So for the third column, I wanted to take this whole space. So this is seven, right? So I wanted to go to eight, nine, ten. I wanted to end in ten to take up this whole space. So what do you think I'm going to do? Grid column. So I'm saying from seven. Remember, two ended at seven. So I'm saying, hey, I want you to move to go over to take up the whole space from seven down to ten. So I'm saying seven forward slash ten. What happens? You see and that is in accordance with this particular template okay i might not be 100 percent right with this template but i think with some tweaks i can get exactly this well ju let's just say i'm making the skeleton of this template of this uh the grid system here the bento grid system here yeah same thing for this for my grid row i would be leaving it empty Now, let's go over to grid 4. So, I need grid 4 to be directly beneath grid 3. Okay? So, I need it to occupy this particular space where 8, 9, and 10 are sitting on. So, what or how do I do that? What I'm going to do is simply to copy what I have here in grid 3 and paste it here. So, I'm going to change this to 4. Okay. Uh, I'm changing grid 3. To four, what happened? You see what happened? Did you see what happened? Four moved over from here. Let me get it off so you see. Uh, so see what happened here. This is four. I want four to be beneath three. So I put in the same value as I did for grid three seven to ten, seven to ten. So let me just change this to four and see what happens. Yeah, so for grid five. I'm simply not going to put in any value for the column but i'm going to add a value for the row i'm going to leave here empty then for for the grid row for grid five i want grid five to move over and take this space this space i want grid five to take over this space so what do i do i simply write two so it has moved up to, remember this is one this is two this is three so i said move to two so i could add a slash two okay forward slash two so stay there two to two i just want you to stay there don't move okay there so for grid six i'm simply going to copy the values for group uh, five and paste them here so remember this is point one this is point two and this is point three so i want six to come here to be at group uh at point uh three okay at point three so i'm simply going to change this value to three okay what happened okay i didn't change this to six okay so you see that's in line with the template too so there are four grids here So for grid 7, so for grid 8 and 9, they are already at uh, the positions I want them to be. So I don't need to move them or anything. So I'm going to skip uh, grid 8 and grid 9 and I'll go over um, to grid 10.
it's not what is happening in the preview when I write a line of code. So using this method, you could try out a, a different type of grids, check online, look for complicated grids that uh, you feel that when you practice them, they might help you learn grids better. So you could use to practice and um, understand how grid works. So we're done. We're done, done, done.